In today's video, we will be talking about tornadoes charts and project management. Before we get to tornado charts, let's discuss sensitivity analysis a bit in the first. Project sensitivity is a holistic evaluation of how likely it is that a project will succeed through data-driven forecasting. It also identifies risks, quantifies their impact, and separates high-risk tasks from low ones. One of the methods which is used in sensitivity analysis is tornado diagrams. A tornado diagram, also called a tornado chart, is a special type of bar chart where the data categories are listed vertically instead of the standard horizontal presentation and the categories are ordered so the largest bar appears at the top of the chart. The second largest appears the second top, and so on. They are so named because the final chart appears to be one half of a tornado. This diagram is useful for sensitivity analysis, comparing the relative importance of variables, for example, if you need to visually compare 100 budgetary items and identify the largest 10 items, it would be nearly impossible to do using a standard bar graph. However, in a tornado chart of the budget items, the top 10 bars would represent the top 10 largest items. So I hope you now understand the sensitivity analysis and project risk management and the use of tornado charts. But our main goal in this video is how to prepare a chart like this. I will take you step by step until such a chart is prepared from your risk register. We have talked about risk register and its contents in our previous videos as well. I will share the link to that video in the description of this video. In this video, we will be focusing on how to prepare a tornado chart using Microsoft Excel. In order to create a tornado diagram, we will select the names of our risks. In here, for convenience, I, I just named my risks as risk number one, two, three, and so on. And beside that, I will select the impacts of the risk, which is the minimum cost of response and the maximum cost of response. Once these are selected, you go to insert, click on bars, select the first one in 2D bar. In here, such a diagram will be shown. In order to make a tornado out of it, we have a little bit of work to do with this specific diagram currently generated. What we have to do is, the first thing is, we will bring these bars into alignment with each other. So for this, you right-click on the bar, select Format Data Series. In the Series Overlap, make this 100% and make the gap weight 10% or maybe whatever you like. If you like it 20 or something like that, you can choose that. Then you go to Close. The next thing is, our risk names are listed very close to this, and here we are supposed to have our impacts, the values. So what we do with this is, move them to the left side. Right click on this, format axis, and then axis labels next to, to axis select low. Close this one. Now, we are almost getting there. There is one thing, as you can see, the maximum number is in the middle here, the lowest number is up in here. We should sort them. In here, come and select these values and sort and filter, sort from smallest to largest. Expand selection, sort. As you can see up to this point, we got a tornado. The minimum value is here and the maximum value is here. The risk with the 
with the least impact is at the base of tornado, the risk with the highest impact is at the top of tornado. Next we will add the, their values and the layout come to data labels. We will write in, we will select the inside base. The same will be done for the minimum values, data labels, inside base. I personally don't like these lines so I will remove them. I will remove this axis as well because the values are already listed on the risks themselves. Moreover, I'll bring the legend to the bottom and what else I will do is, if you wanted to change the colors, for example, for the maximum you want to choose a red color so in order to see the, the severity of it and for the minimum you show a green color. Beside that, in the former chart area, you will remove its background, you will remove the border color, close it. Same we will do for the plot area, we will remove the fill, we will remove the border color. Mm. There you go. That's your tornado diagram. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. Thank you very much.